Greetings everybody, it's Jim again, and now we're going to talk about pole weapons right now. I didn't talk about these in the other videos because I believe it deserved its own little section. Not because it's difficult, it's just easier to absorb this way, now that you have the basics down. Uh, and it's going to be a short video. It's Like I said, it's not going to be hard. So let's just get right down into it. we got Yager here with the saber, Hodgers and Rajan both with spears, and spears are the pole weapons in this case. Any big pointy stick... That's a pole weapon, whether it be a trident, a javelin, a pike, or in this case a spear, that's a pole weapon. So what's the big deal about them? Well, pole weapons, the first thing's not really special. <laughs> and they actually do less damage than uh, weapons of the same strength in, in other categories. Like in this category, like in this case, uh, Hodges has got a strength of 11. Uh, spear does 1d plus 1 damage, while Yager's got a saber uh, from the sword category, which does 2d minus 2. So there's got to be an advantage, right? Well, of course there is. It's how they deal with charge attacks, whether they're using a, a, a pike or a pole weapon in a charge attack or defending against any charge attack. All right. What a charge attack is, is any attack that you, that is not started next to the defender, but is moved into. So otherwise, three hexes here, that's a charge attack. Even one hex away, Yager moves in, that's a charge attack. What's not a charge attack is if Yager starts his turn next to Hadras and then moves one even by a shift and attacks. That is not a charge attack. All right. So what is uh what's the benefit of, of this then? What does Hadras get? Well, three things happen, all of which are significant. The first thing is Hadras gets to attack first. Even though Yager's got a 14 and Hadras has got a 12, Hadras is going to be attacked first. I don't care if Hadras had a 4 or a 2 or a 1. All right, <laughs> uh, that he goes first. All right, any pole weapon being used in a charge attack or defending against any charge attack with a pole weapon gives you that that benefit. The second thing is uh, because a pole weapon is being used in defense against a charge attack, gets a plus two dexterity. So now Hadris is actually at a fourteen dexterity. And the third thing is. When against a charge attack or using a pole weapon in a charge attack, they get plus one die damage. So now the spear is now a 2d plus two monster, right? Uh, so very significant uh, how that works. Now, when pole weapons are used to a char to use as a charge attack, it's a little different uh, than let's say Yager here. I said before that even going one hex is enough for a char to make a charge attack. Well, that's not the same for pole weapons. With a pole weapon being used in a charge attack, you have to go in a straight line, three hexes. Okay, now this straight line even can be not so straight on the hex grid, of course. But as long as you're zigzagging and alternating, that's a charge. That's straight line, considered a straight line, okay? And uh, basically, that will give you the benefits uh, thereof. The only difference that you don't get, you'll still get to attack first. Um, the only difference is you don't get the plus two bonus when you're attacking. Okay, only defending against a charge attack, you get the plus, plus two bonus. But attacking first and the plus one die of damage, you get it. Not a problem. Now, what if there's more than one uh, charge attack being hap happening on the board? Well, that then they get their own little section, and they do uh, relegate to highest dexterity first for pole weapons only. And then once the pole weapons are resolved for charge attacks, uh, then everybody else gets to go. Now, another thing that's a benefit here is... Uh, is is jabbing okay so basically we've got Hodras here and he can jab at Yager and not even be engaged he's two hexes away and he can attack it would only be 1d plus one but he'd be able to do it and if Rajan is there uh you know basically um now he can't attack Yager here because Rajan's in the way but if he was here he'd have no problem because that's not that's that's the open area going across the straight line across the plane of the uh, other hex here is not going to block them so that as you can see the tactical uh machinations in your mind are already going through about what you can do here um so that is basically pole weapons in a nutshell it's a very powerful tool you don't even have to be engaged to attack and if you if you do charge you get a big bonus all kinds of bonuses um and as we have seen how important it is to strike first in this game uh, this really just added a whole lot more to the game. And thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you next video.